In this video of World Box, we're going to see what happens when all of the four races kill each other. Just because that sounds amusing. We're going to spawn in humans down here. Elves over here. Dwarves. And of course orcs. Click play. And we're going to see what happens. Looks like we have three elvish cities going up. Or four maybe? No, there's a human. Okay, so we have four. Uh, we have three elvish, two human, two dwarvish, and two orcish. So, so far, orcs lead in population with 24, as all the others both have 21. Okay, the humans have 24 now, and now the orcs have 27, so it's changing rapidly. It's too early to tell who's going to be in first. However, the orcish second city seems to be booming in population, especially compared to its neighbors. The kingdom view, um, it definitely goes orcs are first place, then it goes uh, elves, humans, and then dwarves. But the humans and dwarves are tied. Surprisingly, usually dwarves are less populated. Humans are really weak right now, and that's not a good thing. A uh, new village was founded, the, orc the orcs just put up their second colony, and this one's actually controlled by Gezor, or the Rokog Horde Empire. Oh, I forget that uh, elves and wolves don't fight. So these, el <laughs> so these wolves over here are starving to death, and the elves are over here just for food, but they won't eat them, because I guess they don't consider them food. For this video, I'm also going to turn on Angry Villagers, because that sounds fun. Uh, why not Natural Disasters and stuff as well? Well, look at the king going out here. He's leaving his people. Yeah, look at this. Just burning everything. Just lightning, just ruining squat diddly. And the human leader of this town is out there fighting the fire. What? Look at this perfectly square city. <laughs> That's actually funny looking. Oh, no! It's going through everybody except for the orcs, maybe? No, here we go. If it goes through the orcs, that is uh, that should help a lot. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do enough damage. It's not a big enough tornado anymore. It's hurting them, but I don't think it's killing anybody. Oh, look at this human settlement. And it's being tornadoed. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, the tornado's gone. Um, wait, they're fighting. Who are they fighting? The orcs. Oh, no. Okay, so that means Obama down here in Pigo and Shukidron is at war against the orcs which is uh, not good at all. But I don't believe they even have weapons yet. It looks like the orcs might have sticks. Yeah, they're holding sticks. Wood stick. <laughs> Wait, what? It was created by Omalori from the Great Ove seven years ago. Wow, good job to that person. Balls, I don't want the humans to die yet. I guess we still have a Shursk over here. Because um, humans are about to be annihilated by sticks. So they do have weapon production, but they don't have the sword yet. No! If it, if it was a little bit later, they would have been able to know how to build swords. So Obama's still alive, but they've lost a huge amount of population. And it's basically uh, just children. And it looks like a dwarvish city has been just annihilated. Are the humans and dwarves at war? There's fire going all the way through. Their entire city's burning down. Oh my glove, that's an intense fire. Wait, what? Oh, it's demons! Demons are running through here. It's one of the random world laws. They spawned in demons. I can't believe they haven't been able to kill them. Okay, we might have to put a stop to this. Laser. Bonk. Wow, that did so much damage to everybody other than orcs. That is like the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> oh my club. Look at the fire going through everywhere. Just burning the cities down. This is the last of the humans. Pigo at 20 population. The orcs are trying to unite, but it looks like uh, they're having a hard time, which is good. They need to be distracted on each other to give the dwarves and elves some time to rebuild. Oh, big orcish city just died, which is good for the rest of the world. And Pigo is being annihilated by dwarves. Rip the humans, there's only one left. Uh, I think this is him. <laughs> just a little baby running around. Oh no, don't kill him, no! Uh, humans have been disqualified. That's an F for the humans. Okay, so, uh, looking at some dwarvish military men, they do have swords now, but it looks wooden. <laughs> the monster sword, the legendary weapon. Um, plus 100 health, I guess that's pretty good. Oh, he's a king slayer, this guy's killed a king. He's got three kills, he's killed a king, but he's stupid. <laughs> what? Let's look at this dude. Uh, so yeah, he still has a stick, so their weapon production is definitely lacking. Okay, something is, what was that? With a screaming noise, something has fallen from the sky. A meteorite just struck the earth. Okay, culture list. Uh, orcs are now uh, knowledge gain one. Increased speed of knowledge gain. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, then they're going to get the next house tier. Uh, elves are going to get the next house tier. I don't know what they got last. Probably the sword. 
So the dwarves, they're gonna get the next house tier. It looks like everybody's gonna be getting the next house tier. These guys have mining efficiency. Oh, and then they, of course they have their bows and the next house tier. Okay, so it looks like what's next for everybody is definitely the house tier, um, which is good. That'll allow for more population. Um, and right now it looks like the world's about just like a boiling pot and it's about to tip over and everything's about to die. A necromancer has spawned in. Uh, where exactly? Hopefully at the orcs. I don't see no necromancer. Maybe it's dead. <laughs> What's down here? Oh, th those are just the orcs ruining the dwarves. Okay. Okay, now there's a tornado. <laughs> uh, um, oh my glove. So there's only four empires now, two of which are orcish, um, which even the third place orcish one still has more population than the dwarvish. So dwarves are probably very unlikely at winning this. Um, elves are probably the only chance, but even then they're 200 population behind, um, not only the biggest one, but then of course they have the other one. And it looks like, uh, the works have rebelled once again, making their, what, five, five empires, which three of which are orcish. Oh, okay, oh, uh, the orcs just went to war, they just destroyed this huge, huge city, uh, which really did lower their populations, but it's still more than... The rest of the world <laughs> it, it wasn't enough uh elves are running down here where are elves going they're doing like a v what look at them go okay that was weird same with the dwarves and elves now they've they're just kind of competing for tiles which uh should end up as war the elves mostly have sticks still though why <laughs> what make make actual tools fools unless their culture is uh different Oh man. Okay, so orcs are running through here, destroying a lot of the dwarvish progress, which is the opposite of chill. <laughs> okay, uh, dwarves are down to their one city, their capital. It, I, it looked like my prediction was true. The children will not grow up. <laughs> In fact, they will die a miserable death against a stick with an orc. An orc with a stick. Uh, there it goes. Dwarves are gone. Okay, uh, dwarves have also been annihilated. Oh, so the elves are researching, what is that? Like a barracks of some kind? Oh, I want to know what that is. Hopefully it's some sort of barracks where they can get um, more soldiers out of it. Uh, housing one, increases maximum amount of people that can live inside houses. Oh, that's dope. That means that the elvish population should be booming right now. Yeah, 301. Oh, that's good. Okay, um, the elves can have a chance, especially if the orcs go to war against each other more and more. Yep, there goes another orcish city. Um, I'm assuming due to orcs not liking each other. At least that's what I'm hoping. I don't want them to declare war on the orcs just yet. And it looks like the orcs are snagging up most of the dwarvish land. Which the elves did snag up a lot, but it's not enough. They, If the elves went down here, maybe they would have a chance. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. They got Roar Hill. Um, it's populating. Hopefully they can get snag some of the more southern stuff really quickly. So, like, we got Doat... Da, da Daws over here, da, da Doze. We got Dodos, and it's smashing between these three giants, um, four giants rather. And so if that re if they go to war, it's just gonna get annihilated. Even though it has a hundred population, technically it's probably pretty strong. Okay, uh, elves are going through civil war. Um, that's the opposite of what needs to be happening right now. Uh, they need to keep their population for going to war against the orcs, but they're not smart enough to do so. Whoever's editing this video, sorry, I know I've been talking a lot and you probably have way more than 10 minutes of footage. <laughs> Although, I'll speed it up here. I probably won't talk as much until the elves are basically dying because there's no way the orcs are gonna lose. I mean, maybe. Okay, uh, that was a big rebellion. Um, orcs are definitely gonna have an issue with that. As well as a lightning cloud is going through. <laughs> uh, but it looks like they went independent peacefully. So that sucks for the elves. The southern orcish empire down here has declared war on the elves. Um, 
I, I really hope the elves are powerful enough to clear these guys out, because then they can come in here and build more cities, and then if they can actually develop those cities, they probably have a chance against the orcs. Um, as their line just keeps getting pushed back and back, and it looks like, what? <laughs> Why? Why is there an elvish little thing here? They, technically, the elves own that tile. Okay, not anymore, but they... What? The orcs are now attacking the elvish capital as the population drops super rapidly. Rest in pieces, the elves. Or at least the only elves that could have done anything. There's still these elves down here. Um, but yeah, there's no way they're going to last very long. <laughs> wow, that's a huge army. I mean, at least that was a... Oh, wow, okay. Hopefully these elves and orcs go to war pretty soon. Oh, it, yep. Uh, it looks like the yellow orcs are going to war against them. That's an F. Era here has one population left. Yep, it's gone. And War Hill had 100 population. It's down to one. And it's gone. Alright, orcs have one. <laughs> just like that, all of a sudden there's only orcs on the world. Uh, another earthquake just struck where the orcs, or where the elves were. Um... Congratulations to the orcs, they've destroyed everything and killed everybody, which uh, honestly was not much of a surprise. Orcs always win. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video.